Flight of the Crow's Wing presents Digitigrading Around Rabbit Valley, Colorado, June 2022. As seen in our previous video, we left our beautiful Lost Lake campsite and began making our way west towards Capitol Reef and then on to California. We found our next campsite in the Ultimate Campgrounds app, which is sadly now unsupported. The campsite we chose is north of I-70 in a developed BLM campground. The High North Campground provides scenic overlooks and easy access to Rabbit Valley. Campsites are free for seven days, but you do need to register at the conveniently located kiosk at the entrance. Site 15 is the farthest north of all the campsites, and it is a bit more private than all the rest. Where are we? Rabbit Valley, which is almost in Utah, still in Colorado. What'd you call this restaurant? Crow's Wing Pizza Restaurant. Great pizza if you don't mind waiting a long time and you're not choosy about your toppings. But the view. But the view. The campground is very close to the Trail Through Time, which is part of the Dinosaur Diamond a collection of dinosaur-related points of interest in the Utah, Colorado area. After setting up camp and getting settled in, we headed down the hill to walk the trail through time. It is a short 1.4 mile loop taking you past in situ fossils. Tell me what we're looking at. We are looking at Camarasaurus vertebrae fossils. Fun fact, Camarasaurus means chambered lizard. This refers to large hollow openings within its vertebra called pleuricule. All sauropods, as it turns out, have these large openings, which make their skeleton much lighter uh, than it would be otherwise. But Camarasaurus was the first sauropod to be found with these structures, and thus it was given that name. Fun fact, the Diplodocus was one of the longest dinosaurs at about 29 meters long or about 96 feet. Most of that length was tail, which ended in a whip-like structure which, like a modern-day bullwhip, was capable of cracking and breaking the sound barrier. You say potato. You say potato. I say potato. You say potato. I was very pleased to find that there were many lizards to photograph, like this checkered whiptail. I know what you're thinking. Look, it's a dinosaur. So lizards are not dinosaurs, but birds are. Oh, look, a dinosaur. Also not a dinosaur. We found this colorful collared lizard sunning himself on a rock. The next day, we decided to drive some of the many roads found throughout the Rabbit Valley area to see what we could see. What we saw was a mama pronghorn and two babies. Or is that three babies? I don't know if they all belong to her, but they all left with her. Three babies. She does. That is insane. I wonder if she's so skinny. Later, we saw this lone pronghorn. So I guess that means the average pronghorn has 1.5 babies. The next morning, we got up early to hike the McDonald Creek Canyon Trail. What's the name of this trail again? 
McDonald something. McDonald's. Creek sounds right. I guess it's a creek sometimes of the year. McDonald's. Or is it McDonald or McDonald's? Let's see. Mac. McDonald Creek Trail. Not Mac. Mick. 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 Like Ronald. Now I'm hungry for a hamburger. I know, and french fries. French fries. This trail leads down to the Colorado River and is supposed to have pictographs somewhere along it. Came from there and we hiked along this stream bed and now we're here and that's a long way down. I guess it's a really cool section, but I'll break my legs trying to get to the trail. It might go up that way. There's a rock cairn, but the descriptions are odd. They don't match. In case you're wondering, we. In case you're wondering, we found where we go. Uh, at the rock car on top of the uh, waterfall, you turn right and follow the edge of the cliff. No, you turn right. If you're coming down, you turn left and went up. Over. We turn left across the creek and turn right at the rock car and follow the cliff yeah, to the next rock car. It, it was to the left of the wash, yes. But we turned right at the rock car and followed the cliff to a place where you pretty much had to jump down. Not exactly like I remember the description at all. Not exactly like the description on all trails. It's been here a few years. A few years. Longer than us. Eventually, we did find two of the pictographs. Amazing. Even though you could see the pictographs clearly from the bottom of the alcove, we decided we needed to climb up to get a closer look. I'm not going to say it was an easy climb, because it was not. Really, our packs are way down there. The Colorado River is right there. And we're up in this huge alcove to go to those petroglyphs there. Petro. Now, these are pictographs. Not these pet. are pictographs because they're painted on. Yeah. We climbed all the way up here just to see these two. Hopefully we will survive. Hopefully we get back down. Yeah, it was not an easy scramble to get up here. Not easy. Not easy at all. No. Looks like. <laughs> Behold, as Bikini Bottom trembles in fear at the awesome might of Plankton. <laughs> Further down the trail, we spotted another whiptail lizard. After viewing the pictographs, it was just a short distance to the river. Mosquitoes are horrendous, and you can hear the water. And there's the railroad track that follows the Colorado.
the river. And the railroad. Wow, it's flowing pretty good. Where are we at? We're at the Colorado River at the bottom of the McDonald Trail. Cool. After walking through that canyon. This hike took us just over four miles in just over four hours. The next morning, we made our coffee and got out the drone. Of course, you can't have a proper YouTube travel channel without drone footage, and we are nothing if not proper. That is day coffee. Favorite person. From here, you can't tell our coffee cups are empty. Thanks for watching. Of course, sometimes conditions are not suitable for drone footage. Elizabeth, being impatient, tried to simulate a drone shot by standing on top of the teardrop. Someone is trying to get work done and getting cranky with me because I'm making him do I'm stuff. Okay. The shot was not very successful simulating a drone, but it was successful in disturbing my work. Success. Bless her little heart. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and visit our channel for more.